Hey, welcome to the Wolfpack Man YouTube channel, the home of a fan of uh, Roger Federer. Go, Roger. <laughs> and today we have, I, I, at least I think it's something super cool, uh, 1936. 1936? How about a 36-year-old 1987 Fleer Baseball Rack Pack? got 51 total cards in these three packs so uh, at least based on this 51 trading cards so super excited about this new exciting and colorful uh, rack pack that you have in front of you last night uh, I said that because Thursday is football Thursday that I would open a football pack not realizing that uh, all, the only three packs I had left for this week were baseball, basketball, and hockey. So, so, uh, to, so it's going to be baseball. And to make up for it, I did want to show you one football card. Oops, peeking out right there. One football card. This is a guy who played for the Detroit Lions from 1948 to 1954. So he only, only played seven years in the NFL. During those seven years, he was named first-team All-Pro four consecutive years at the defensive lineman position, uh, including an, he was an All-Pro his last year in the league. Uh, so he obviously went out on top. He helped the Lions win two NFL championships during his playing days. During his playing days, he weighed in at about 350 pounds at a time when most NFL linemen were in the low 200s. <laughs> so he was just bigger than life. My grandpa, and the reason I even know about this guy is because my grandpa used to talk about him all the time. And my grandpa passed away in the, in the 1990s. Uh, but he used to say that this guy was so large that the defense of that the Lions could put him on instead of going four four man front on defense, they would just have this guy on one side and then two guys on the other side, and it would give him an extra backfield defensive backfield guy. So he, he literally was so big he he could take up an entire side of the line. And and another thing that my grandpa used to always tell me that I thought was cool about this guy is he said if he couldn't get to the running back he would just grab the nearest offensive player and throw him into the running back and knock the running back down which is I wish there was footage of this because that to me it tells a story about a player who was who was kind of phenomenal and yet no one really knows who I'm talking about and this is the guy, Les Bingaman. Uh, and this is his 1954 card. This is the only card they made for Les. Uh, he died in 1970 at the age of only 44 of congestive heart failure. He was actually a friend of Bobby Lane, so kind of cool. And I know I can't really get too much more on the back because of the glare, but... But if you ever get a chance to find card 29 of the Topps Bowman 1954 cards, Les Bingman, check him out, man. The guy, guy was bigger than life. So let's get to this rack pack from 1987. I guess I don't have to really be that careful since the packs are sealed inside of this as well. So it's kind of funny. So from this point forward, I'll have to kind of chug along at a decent pace because, you know, your time is valuable. But I just wanted to share with you guys that story of Les Bingaman because I just thought it, that's just my grandpa would be is smiling from heaven right now knowing that I shared that story with you guys. So... Let's talk about 1987 uh, Fleer. Uh, 660 cards in the set, in the base set, 45 of which are Hall of Fame players. So not a huge percentage of Hall of Fame players, but huge names. Wade Boggs, Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan, Reggie Jackson, Ricky Henderson, Mike Schmidt, Tony Perez, Robin Yount, George Brett, Tony Gwynn, Curry Puckett. There are also 81 rookies, including... 
Hall of Famer Barry Larkin, uh, Chuck Finley, Ruben Sierra, Will Clark, member John Cronk, Jamie Moyer, uh, this uh, guy from the Oakland Raiders, Bo Jackson. This is his rookie year. And there's also the all-time home run king. <laughs> I put a question mark after, after in my notes where I put all-time home run king, Barry Bonds. This is his rookie year, too. So... Uh, He's still the all-time home run king. I you know as much as I love Hank Aaron. So, so uh, hopefully these are all these are. I just I don't know how they would have searched them and then put that rack pack thing together like that. I just don't know how they could do that. So, so I'm really gonna hope that 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 these are as legit as they come. But we do have a lot of uh, cards to. Uh, get through so I don't so I'm just gonna open these three packs right now and get this part out of the way and then we'll just crank through some cards oh Rick Road and I was like thought I, for a second I thought it I it was looking at Bo Jackson but Rick Roden can't tell you that these wax packs are opening up nicely so I kind of feel good about it there's Chili Davis he was a stud. Okay, so 50 some cards, man. This is not going to be, I don't know how I'm going to get him all laid down. So this is what the back of the cards look like. Tim Hewlett. And then this is what the front of these cards look like. If you guys remember these. So let's kind of crank through these. So there's Tim Hewlett. Greg Nettles, certainly a Hall of Fame candidate. Uh, Roger Clemens. <laughs> Not in the Hall, but still. Yeah, man, I think I'm just going to have to set this off to the side for right now. Um because maybe I'll actually get some cool cards in here. Tony Armas. All right, we'll, we'll just get this going better. Sorry for the slow start. Uh, Curtis Wilkerson. Ken Oberfell. I'll just flip it. Vaughn Hayes. So I'll be surprised the same as you guys. Dave Concepcion of the Big Red Machine. That's a cool card. Dennis Eckersley is a cub. Whoa. The Eck. I can't do it. Study. Buddy Biancolana. I got to look at the back. John Tudor. Oh, heck with it. Don Sutton. Man, that, is that guy a Hall of Famer? He's got to be. He's got 300 wins. So we're going Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. Larry, <laughs> I peaked again. Larry Anderson. Um, don't peek, Tom. <laughs> Daryl Strawberry. Not a Hall of Fame player, but I'm going to set him aside anyways. Uh, Jim Pankovitz. Oh, that's, <laughs> and here's the, here's the stickers for the Dodgers and Indians. And then this is a Jim Rice card six of six. Headliners Jim Rice card. Not sure what that is, but that's pretty cool too. So I wonder if that's I wonder if that's unique to uh, to um, to these rack packs. To have that it says seventeen cards in a sticker, but I don't. I, I wonder if well, all of these are going to have that in it. 
So right here we've got Rick Roden. This guy had a 3.48 ERA, 121 wins, 97 losses. Yeah, good numbers, but not good enough. Gino Petrolli. Uh, Dave Henderson. Did he play for the Pirates? Nope, Mariners. Dave Henderson. Get it. my vibe sticker off to the side, too. Scott Carell's. I'm just going to set all this stuff off. I need all this room. Joe Cowley. What a wasted picture. That's that. Someone goofed that one up. Uh, Rick Dempsey. Thad Bosley. Oh, I'm having bad luck. I'm not I'm because I'm, I'm peeking at the backs. Danny Turtable. Man, look how young he is. That guy, that guy was a good player too. Oh, don't look, Tom. Keith Moreland. Getting some cubbies here. Bobby Gritch. Another guy, really good player. Jim Wynn. If you're a pitcher, that would be your the last name you would want. Bob Melvin. Doug Bear. Billy Hatcher. Running out of room. Frank Williams. I peeked again. Bobby Witt. Uh, this pack's not as many. Dave Von Olin. The A's. And then the last card is this Cleveland Indians. Yeah, so that Jim Rice card. Obviously, you don't get one of those in every pack. So that's kind of neat. So anyways, I'm gonna, I am gonna. know this is going to be dumb, but I'm moving these down here so you can still see the names of the players. And then I can do that last pack. Okay. So here's the last one. Obviously, the first pack was great. Second pack was a dud. It was a sad trombone. And we're starting out with Chili Davis. Billy Sample. Storm Davis. Rich Yet. Rich Yet, sorry. Floyd Bannister. Craig Lefferts. <laughs> Joe Zambito. Come on, give me a Barry Bonds. <laughs> give me a Barry Larkin. Give me a Bo Jackson. Bruce Hurst. Uh, Daryl Porter. <laughs> Starting to run out of chances. Glenn Hubbard. Mike Schmidt. All right, I'll take a Mike Schmidt. That's a sweet card right there. Chris Welsh. Bob Dernier. Let's see. Uh, looks like four more cards and then the sticker. Mike Kingery. Danny Cox. Is that a double? Nope. Donnie Moore. All right. And the last card is 
Aurelio Lopez of the Tigers. Oh, that's kind of a neat card, you know, just because I got, because he's a Tiger. So 70 to, this is 1987, so like 18 years. <laughs> he was, he was a rock at, at third base for the, for the Tigers. Oh no, I'm not. It's the wrong guy, sorry. <laughs> wrong, wrong. <laughs> Who am I thinking of who's the third baseman for the Tigers for all those years? I really thought it was, it's not a really a Lopez. Now, now I'm drawing a blank. I'll have to put it in the description afterwards. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so that was the last card. And then we got Mets and Expos. Was on the back. Oh, that was a Cleveland Indian. So maybe I should just actually put these cards like this. And this was an Astros on the back here. So it's a pretty nice row, but there isn't. There's no Barry Larkin, no Bo, no Bo Jackson, no Barry Bonds, but that's all right. There is a Les Bingaman sighting, and that was fun. <laughs> peace and pickleball, peace and pickleball. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow we're going to do that hockey pack. That's going to be a sweet one. And then uh, then Saturday we'll do the basketball pack, the two graded packs. That's what I have left. So see you guys tomorrow for and Saturday for the graded packs. <laughs>